so, um... <laughs> quick impression! Quick impression! Here we go, the Daily Mail! Here we go, here we are, the Daily Mail. Oh, Tony, that is naff. Nobody makes fun of the Daily Mail anymore. Oh, I do. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Mmm! Ah! Mmm! That's all there is to that bit. <laughs> uh, another impression, Twitter. Oh, brilliant, nice one, mate. Oh, thanks a lot. Oh, what a good link. Oh, I love Twitter, it's great hanging out. Oh, what a lovely resource. Ah, oh, it's funny, ah, oh, it's a good joke. Ah, oh, brilliant, I'll see you there. Oh, thanks for the tip. Oh, really? oh, I'm gonna kill your kids, you cunt. All right. <laughs> I might put that away for a little while. Oh, that got close. That got nasty real quick. I'm gonna leave it alone. Just a month, just a month, then I'll come creeping back in. But, uh, oh, geez, what a world do we live in, am I right? Yeah? Am I right, brothers? Yeah? You're not using your peripheral vision again, are you? Yeah? No, serious, you know, no, no, but uh, what? Oh, God, people are, oh, people still like, oh, so naff. And people still, you think for a minute, like if you surround yourself by like enough decent people, you don't ever overhear something like, like, it always shocks you when you hear like men going, oh, yeah, look at it, yeah? Like, oh, like, yeah, do that, it. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, gonna fucking, oh, just, just so violent and that, it. Oh, good. Oh, and then staring like, oh, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, I dig that shit. I love it. Nothing makes me feel better in the world than making another human being feel uncomfortable. I, I adore it. I'm like, hey, lady, feeling vulnerable? Why don't I stare at your shit for a while? Yeah, you love it. Of course you love it. Why'd you get up this morning if you didn't love it? You know I'm right. Stay in bed next time, loving it. That's why they're all out, fellas. You can dig it. But I, I tend not to do that, though, uh, uh, anymore. Uh, and I think it was uh, probably because that was a powerful lesson my father taught me. My father, my father was a very, he was a very distant man. I think a lot of us have distant fathers. My father was particularly distant. My, he was always away on the northern frontier fighting the Germanic tribes. And he was often away. And I, I remember one day we were in Rome, ancient Rome, and... Um, uh, one of the streets there, I haven't done the research, but it was me and the lads. <laughs> and we weren't expecting my father, Marcus Aurelius, to be back that day. That's the only way you were allowed to address him. Marcus Aurelius! And he was back that day, and I remember, uh, I was with the lads, and we're all, uh, we're in our tunics. And uh, some of the ladies went by in their litters. And we were like... <laughs> and we were... <laughs> We were like, I was like, I was right in the cock of the block, yeah? I was the one right out front just going, hey, ladies, I like the way all your meat's held together in a skin sack. Ah. Well, the lads fell about. They fell about. That was the funniest banter they had heard. This is olden days banter. But father was appalled. And he taught me a very important lesson that day. You know what my father did? He made me strip naked, take the tunic right off. He made me strip naked and rub my balls on a tree for a fortnight. <laughs> That'll teach you something about humility. And it gives you really thick ball skin. And that's good for nothing. That was number two. Wow, it took you a while to get there, Tone. Yeah, but it was worth the wait. A ball joke. But I live in, uh, I live in, uh, I live in a watch. I live in a tiny watch, and uh, I live, there's 19 of us in this watch, but it's a good life. I mean, these are tough times. Many of us live in watches. You may live in some other appliance. It's not an appliance, Tony. This is terrible riffing. I know. And it's all staying in. And the, um... But I live, uh, I live, in, a t I live in North London in a tiny little flat, and uh, it's very small. It's very small. Tiny, that's what tiny means. To it's tiny. <laughs> And, but I haven't minded, my wife and I have, have had a lovely life for 10 years in our tiny little flat, but we've had an infestation recently. A horrible, two nasty, horrible, scuttling trolls have moved in. <laughs> Awful trolls and they knock things about and they're unethical, unreasonable, hideous little trolls. Nasty tro twins! <laughs> Three-year-old twins have moved in. <laughs> They're horrible. If you've ever met one three-year-old in your life, your instinct is to just hurl them out the window <laughs> or give them a karate chop. 
or at the very least shout at them, what is wrong with you, you moron? <laughs> but I don't even do that. I don't even shout at them. And it's not because I'm a good person. I am not. I'm a monster. I think those thoughts every day, especially the karate chop. I've developed a double in my mind. Wah, wah. <laughs> but I, I don't even do that. I try and contain it. I mean, it's all, oh. But I try and repress the shout. I've slipped discs in my back, just going, oh, fucking contain it. And, it's, and I want to do it, but I won't. It's not because of any goodness in me. There's no goodness in me. It's because I looked at them and I felt pity. Pity and contempt. I looked at them and I thought, you don't need me shouting at you, do you? Your lives are dark enough already. You live in a dark age, you morons. And they do, they're, they're, they're thicker than Vikings. They're stupider than Vikings. And that takes some doing. They, I mean, for a start, they can't tell time. Imagine going through life not knowing what time it is. Dave, what time is it? I don't know. I'm floating alone in space, I'm terrified. And the violence amongst their community, my God, it's disgusting. I mean, when the violence happens with them, it is on like that, boom, it's on. Oh, I'm coloring with my brother. I'm coloring with my brother. I'm biting my brother. I'm biting my brother. No! And you and I, we go to a playground. That's just, that's just a slide to you and I. Not to them. That's three stories high. They think nothing of being at the top and just pushing a strange one off the top of it. <laughs> ah! Oh, lady, I hope your son recovers from his spinal injury. I don't recognize the child who pushed him. I don't know why he's looking at me. Probably my mad, crazy hair. <laughs> And he's like, I don't know how he knows my name. You probably said it. I gotta go. <laughs> Horrible. Hor and they live with giants. They live with giants. Imagine living with giants. It's terrifying. Who you're constantly trying to entertain. Don't leave. <laughs> I'm not terrified of existence. Look how happy I genuinely am. <laughs> then one of the giants just fucks off for a few days to go make rent money in Grimsby. <laughs> you know, and then, and, then, and then, oh, he's back, he's back, he's dead, he's dead, he's, got, he's alive. <laughs> I will redo that bit. <laughs> the idea I was trying to get across is that they have no concept of time. And every time they leave, you leave, they think you're dead. And they do for a while. Mummy's going to the shops. Don't die, mummy. She's going to the shops. I'm cool with that. And then mummy leaves. She's dead! Oh my God, my mommy's so stressed out. She's back, she's alive. That's how religion gets started, isn't it? I destroyed the flow of that somewhat. But uh, we won't be changing that in the edit.